Hey guys, welcome to Excel for Noobs.com. This is just a quick tutorial on circular reference. Here I'm going to um, just describe what circular reference is, and then I'm going to show you um, a case where you can actually use a circular reference formula to your advantage. Um, there are certain times when you intentionally will use circular reference, and I'll kind of show you what I mean. So the first thing I'm going to do is just what circular reference is. The problem. Uh, the circular reference problem is whenever a cell, whenever you insert a formula into a cell and that formula refers to the cell that it's inserted into. And so I'll enter some numbers here and then in cell V4 I'm going to enter uh, a calculation equals cell B2 plus cell B3 plus cell B4 but you can see that it's also inserted our formula is inserted into cell B4 and it's referring to cell B4 and then you can see that we get our circular reference warning and um, Excel 2010 so here we can click OK and it's just going to give us a result of zero that doesn't really help us much uh, with a circular reference um, problem uh, formula it could just keep running that calculation through and through and through and through and through giving us an inaccurate result um, okay so a case where circular reference might be intentional is and um, here's an example basically uh, just let's assume there's a company that has its revenues expenses and then it pays its employees their salaries which is 10% uh, of the net I have net sales here but net profit okay so <clears throat> the salary is dependent on the net profit but the net profit is dependent on the salaries so uh, our net profit formula would be equals cell b1 or yeah, cell b1 plus or minus cell b2 minus cell b3 so it's revenues minus expenses and of course salaries that's an expense okay so we have not yet entered in our salaries we have our net profit of nine hundred thousand dollars so now we enter in our formula to to solve to um, solve for ten percent of our net profit which is going to be equals ten percent which is equal point one times and then we refer to cell b4 our net profit now i hit enter and then you can see that we have our circular reference problem Okay, so how do we res how do we uh, resolve this circular reference problem? Okay, now I'm going to go to File, and then I will select Options. The Excel Options dialog box is going to appear. I'm going to select the Formulas tab. Over here, I'm going to click on Enable Iterative Calculation. I'm going to keep this at 100, our maximum iterations, and our maximum change. I'm going to keep that all the same. You can change that, but for this example, it's not going to make a difference, really. Then I click OK, and there you can see that Excel ran, um, ran the formula through enough iterations until salaries equal 10% of net profit. All right, thanks for watching this Microsoft Excel 2010 tutorial on circular reference and how to resolve circular reference problems. Um, be sure to interact with our videos, and what I mean by that is just rate, comment, subscribe, share on the social networks. Um, I put these up for free, and that can be your way of repaying me. Just uh, It helps us with the YouTube and Google uh, search results and algorithms. So that's that can be your way of repaying us. All right, thanks for watching.